Hi everybody, Niklas Seidloff here. Phil Rion has contributed another incredible project to OpenNTF. It's called Bootstrap for X Pages. You can download the project either from OpenNTF or from GitHub. In order to show you what this project does, I'm going to use here a demo application that you're all familiar with. It's the demo application for the X Pages extension library. And as you can see, it looks quite differently. It uses the new Bootstrap theme. Everything that I'm going to show you now, you can accomplish by simply switching to this other theme. In other words, you don't have to change a single line of code. You can continue to use the application layout control. It just uses another renderer, not the one UI renderer, but the new bootstrap renderer. So let's take a look at some of these um, new renderers. So here, for example, is a tab control. Here is an accordion, toolbar, menus, drop-down menus, um, here's a list of form controls, text boxes, text areas. At the time when we will publish this document, there will be all, uh, also new date and time pickers. Um, there's combo boxes, buttons, checkboxes, radio bo buttons, sliders, etc. I can toggle here to read-only mode. Then there's also a set of new renderers for the um, view controls. Here's a simple view with a new pager look and feel. Um, here's the more sophisticated data view. I'm just going to switch through these here real quick. And one more, the forum view. Again, I just switch quickly through them. And also when I go here to one UI, there are some more UI controls, for example, outline and also the widget container. Now, in order to show you how you can use and consume this new theme, I'm going to switch to Designer. Here we are in Domino Designer, and in order to use this new theme, you need to define a dependency to a new library called org.openntf.xsp.bootstrap.library. That means that you need to deploy this library once and globally to your Domino server and then you can use the theme from all of your different nodes applications without having to um, import any additional design elements. Once you have done that, you can go here to the general tab and at the top is where you define the application theme name. And this is the new one, Bootstrap version 231. Now, there's actually two different themes. There is a non-responsive version and a responsive version. This is the non-responsive version. So let me show you um, what that means. Um, here I'm back in my sample application. When I reduce the size, um, you can see that or yeah, nothing really changes. All four columns stay visible. Now when I go back in Designer and switch it to the other theme with the same name plus an R for responsive, and then I go back and do a quick refresh of the page and now I reduce the size you can see that the navigator shows up here at the top. Now that works for the navigator it doesn't work out of the box for your own custom columns for example for these three columns. Now you can also do that and I want to show you how to do that um, by using here another simple sample. So this again is a simple um, bootstrap ap uh, based application where I have my three different columns and what I want to do now is when I reduce the size these columns actually become rows as you can see here. Now let me show you how I've done that in Designer. So this is my test page and here I have my three columns one, two, three now what I do here is to simply use the style classes that are provided by Twitter Bootstrap and that's how you can get this um, responsive user experience um, even for things that are not supported out of the box by our theme. Now we are looking into um, providing more responsive features um, and we are looking for volunteers to help us to build them. Um, the other thing that you see here is the usage of the application layout control. This is um, a custom control called CC Layout, the same naming convention as in the extension library demo application. And when I open this control, you can see here the application layout control. 
And everyone who has ever used this application layout control can see that it's the exact same one. It's the same structure, same amount of parameters, etc. Now let me talk quickly about how this has been implemented or what major components it includes. Obviously it includes Bootstrap. It includes the version 231 and as you know Bootstrap requires jQuery. Now it also still uses Dojo and in order to make Bootstrap work for Dojo it uses two more open source projects. The first one is called dBootstrap or Dojo Bootstrap and that contains the theme for Dojo. And then there is another one called Dojo Bootstrap, um, which really brings the Bootstrap components to life. Now, as I said um, briefly, we are looking for volunteers and contributors who help us to move this project forward. Check out the README file where we have a list of ideas for features that we really would like to do. Again, if you want to um, help out or have ideas for extensions, please contact us. Thanks a lot for your attention.